Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to keep talking about Boolean logic. So remember that the last time we learned about Boolean logic. Let's uh, review that a little bit. So in Boolean logic we learned that there are basically three kinds of circuits we need to do things with Boolean logic. The NOT circuit, the OR circuit, and the AND circuit. Now last time we learned how to make NOT and OR circuits in Minecraft. Today we're going to learn about the AND circuit. Okay, so let's take a look just so we remember the NOT circuit. Pretty simple. Basically it inverts the signal. So if our input is on, turned on, the output, this lamp here, is off. If I turn off the input, the output becomes on. And it's pretty simple to do in Minecraft. We just have to put a torch on the back of the block that will invert our signal, make it opposite. All right, now how about the OR, the OR circuit, or sometimes they're called gates, the OR gate. This was either the first input or the second input, or both of them have to be on for the circuit to be on. So the output right now is off, this lamp is off, because both the inputs are off. If I turn on the left one, the output is on. If I turn on only the right one, the output is also on, and both of them will make the output on, right? So very simple, to make an OR gate is super simple. We just have to connect the two inputs together. So if either of them is on, the whole thing will be on. Okay, so last time I taught you guys how to make a combination lock out of a combination of these OR and NOT gates, these simple circuits. So if you want to check that out, if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check out my other video. Today I want to show you how to make the AND gate. Actually, first I'm just going to show you how it works, and then I'm going to challenge you to figure it out and then I'll show you the solution. All right, so let's take a look here. So the AND gate also has two inputs, like the OR gate, but both of them have to be on for the output to be off. So right now, both the left input and the right input are on, and so the output is on, our lamp is lit up. Now, if I turn any of them off, the output becomes off. So if I turn off just the right one, the AND gate is off. And if I turn both of them off, the output of the AND gate is also off. Okay, so the AND gate means the left and the right both have to be on for the output to be on. Alright guys, so go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure out how to make the AND gate and then we'll come back with the solution. All right, so now that you've tried it, maybe you figured it out, good for you. In any case, I'm gonna show you how to make the AND gate, how it works in Minecraft. All right, so pretty simple. It's actually a combination of NOT gates and OR gates. So it's just a combination of things we already know. Okay, so we have two NOT combined with an OR, another NOT, and that's it. And that makes a NOT, an AND gate. And here, just to show you, if I turn off one of, this, uh, one of the inputs, that turns on the NOT gate, which turns on the OR gate which turns off this NOT gate, and so the output is off, okay? And the same thing if I turn this guy on, the first input also turns off. So both of these have to be off for the output to be on, okay? So it's just NOT, NOT, OR, NOT. Pretty cool, right? All right. Let me now show you guys my challenge. So I have a challenge for you guys. And the challenge is 
we're going to make a vending machine. I made one. Yours can be different. It's really up to you how you design your vending machine. The only thing I want you guys to try and do is use the AND gate in your vending machine. So I'll show you how I did mine um, over here. All right, so I have a vending machine and I'm using the AND gate. So I'll show you how it works. Let's walk over here. All right, so here, if I put a payment down here in this chest, sorry, now this chest is empty, and I push this button, I will get a bottle of water. The payment is one diamond, so it's a very expensive bottle of water, but this is Minecraft. Notice that right now there's nothing in my payment, so if I push the button, nothing happens. I need to put my payment in there. So I just happen to have some diamonds, and I'm very thirsty. All right, so right now I put some diamond I put a diamond down there. Notice I still didn't get my water bottle yet because I have to push the button to, to do that. So let me go. Oh, there we go. So it just got dispensed right out of this dispenser here and you see that it is now down in my inventory. So there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have fun creating your own vending machine and until then until the next time we will see you soon bye guys